Let's go. Oh shit. I do not want to get sniped by that. Still do a uh, set it for that instead. Let's remove the red stamp. And pick up some stuff to make some elixirs. See what's happening here. Any chess? Stasis actually. Snag these weapons real quick. There's a chest. Let's see what's in here. shield. Where's this chest at? Decent. Another one? How is this? Okay. Is this just the reverse? So 
that's like that. Okay. Oh shit. There we go. I need to get like a anti-electricity suit or something. Okay, we'll use this. There we go. Now I shouldn't get electrocuted, I think. Get rid of this. Oh, he's got bomb arrows. Fucking dumbass. Up. Ah, oh, shit. Eat mad eggs. Wait, how is this shrine? Okay, whatever. I'll find it another time. I don't feel like doing shrines right now. I'm not close to me. Oh, this place looks sick as hell. Let's go fight some popcorns. How are you scared? It's just Minecraft. Like a Logan scared of him. Oh, 
Boo's waking up, I think. Oh, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Those things are bulky as shit. Let's bomb the shit out of this guy. Oh, do they not blow up in the... They must not blow up in the... The rain. Oh shit, they got a white one? Okay, I'm not fucking with them. That thing would mess me up. Oh, here's a shrine. This place is sick as hell. I don't even remember ever being here in my first playthrough of this game. I don't know if I've ever come to this area. <sighs> but that's not what we're doing today. Go see what this guy's saying, seeing if he wants to sell or if he's trying to kill me. What's up? Okay, he's just talking about horses. Yeah, okay, I get it. I wonder if in uh, the second one, they'll do some more stuff with this area, because this area looks cool as hell. These guys all got electricity arrows and will just shoot me and I'll die immediately. <laughs> Shield surfing. Oh, what the hell?
Is this new? Oh, it's a shrine cross. Do I do this or just keep moving on? Well, I've never done this. I'm not sure. Maybe I haven't been to this area either. I know I was at the last area, but... Oh my god, this rain's annoying. I'm trying to see what the hell this thing is. Oh, that's a balloon. Never mind, it's not a balloon. Down from there. Where the hell is this thing going? I feel like I'm gaslighting in my title. I said I was going to fight the Blights, but I'm not even at one yet. Is there an opening on this? God damn. Okay, yeah, uh, here's this one. And the green one's right there. And then I found the red one and the other one. Red and orange, I think. Or yellow. that thing go down okay good there's uh, that's a nice shade of green now Now I just gotta figure out a way to get the red and the orange up here. The orange is right there, but it's off the side of the thing. And I have the red right there, I'm just not sure how to get it up. There we Oh, decent, it went straight up. Okay, I think I got it. Look at that, Alyssa. I got both of them up. Nope. 
I would go do that tower if I had uh, either electricity armor or uh, a few elixirs because I know it's like a, I don't know if you remember but there's like these wizard guys and they can shoot like electricity and or fire at you or ice and these guys all have electricity and it's surrounded by water so if the water gets shocked you're basically dead or if you get shocked you're basically dead Oh, blood wounds coming out. Stupid ass keys. You're a fat ass warthog. I'm gonna mess you up. I just don't re There's like these bird guys, and I don't remember where their village is. Here, you can see it now, Alyssa. There's the big ass bird. That's what we're going to fight. Oh, there's a dragon over here. Friggin' stupid. I'm trying to see the dragon. Do I risk it and just try getting up over there? Yeah, screw it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's their village right there on top of this thing. Yeah, there it is. That's the village. That's where we're headed.
They talking about the hero. Guess who the hero is? Damn, they really couldn't just get a voice actor for this. They have voice actors for other parts. He's spitting rhymes right now. Fearless Knight. Have a good fight. He he spent bars. No, he's still going. He just rhymed Jaws and Cause. Oh yeah, this is when they're this is when they're talking about the divine beast. You guys better be paying attention they talk they're they're saying the whole story you want me to read it the guardians ca well it's already like <laughs> It's already towards the end of it. Any other time I ask if you guys want me to read it, you guys say no. Basically, he was like sealed. And there was a prophecy that Ganon was going to come back. This wasn't te the thing they're talking about wasn't 10,000 years ago. It was a hundred years ago, so like, uh, Link got, like when you wake up, Link ha has amnesia. Yeah, well, we're, it'll be, um, yeah, it's just Dan and I think I, I forget what they call him. There's, uh, yeah, he can't remember. I don't want to give all the details, but there's a reason he can't remember. But a hundred years ago, they were there was a prophecy that Ganon would come back, and they were like preparing to a t battle against him, and uh, like obviously they lost. Like it was a hundred years ago, and Ganon's like taking over everything. But uh, basically, what they were saying there is that they they used the this ancient technology, which is what this thing is, like that's a form of ancient technology. All the like walking machines. I don't remember what the, the guardians. 
they go they move around and shit and shoot lasers at you. They found those and we're using those to go against Ganon and uh, the Divine Beast, which are the <laughs> which are the big ass uh, robot animals like the bird. I can't see the bird right now, actually, but the bird's one of them. And there was these guardians that uh, they would. What's the word? They control them, basically. And there was one for each one of them. And so they they would also attack Ganon at the same... Oh, there's the... That, yeah, that's a Divine Beast. That's the bird one. So there would be a Guardian in there. And they'd all attack Ganon at once. At, as well as... Like, it would be like their force. So they'd have all the little Guardians plus... Uh, the Divine Beast all attacking at once against Ganon and Link and Zelda. But Ganon, uh, when he came out, he took control of all the uh, the little guardians, like the walking machine lasers. And they that's why they attack you, is because they're being controlled uh, by Ganon. So they're trying to kill you and shit. And he took uh, control over the Divine Beast also, like he killed the Guardians, and took control of the Divine Beast. Like the Guardians of the Divine Beast, he killed them. So they did make a prequel for this game, and you can like play as the... You can play as the Guardians, I'm pretty sure. But that's basically like the plot synopsis, so we're going to take back the uh, the Divine Beast so we can use them against Ganon. I know I didn't really uh, explain it well, but that's like the best explanation I can give, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and that guy's story was bogus as hell anyways because he was saying it was 10,000 years ago. Unless it happened twice, but pretty sure it just happens one. Damn. Got lucky, I guess. Oh, here goes the Divine Beast. It's gonna screeching at me. Here's a little cutscene they give it. I know they have to be like a robot to be controlled by Ganon, like the old machines and shit. I just think it would be a lot cooler if there was just an actual alive giant ass bird and he just had control over it somehow. I think that would be really cool. Going to a place like this in a crisis is kind of shit. It's the big iron on my hip. Nah, it's a big iron. See, this guy's talking about the champions. <laughs> oh, that's what they're called. I was calling them guardians, but the champions, yeah.
I don't know if he'd be able to. He's kind of a big fella. Okay, tell me where he is then. What are you doing? Okay, whatever. I right, hear she is. Well, if you want, uh, well, you probably don't want to. Uh, after this, I'm taking Boog up to the back trails. If you, if you'd want to, you can come on a walk with us, and then I'll come back to your house and help you set it up. If you want. Oh, there's a cutscene. This literally, that's not the shirt I'm wearing right now. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's Bro, you're a bird. It's the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all Burrito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Am I supposed I to have the Master Sword? You, you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Bro, why is this guy such a cockhead? Oh, never mind, that's a flashback. I was gonna say. Okay, I'll go by the house, come back here. Oh, they going in. Boop. Oh shit, he was pissed about something. There's some shitty flowers. This is our crib. Oh shit, I didn't know there was a back door. Oh, I can't go in it? How the fuck they give you a house and they don't let you go in your shed? This crib's looking too good.
I ain't get lights put in yet, but... See, look, here's the weapons mount. See, look at that. I don't need to put any other weapons up right now. <laughs> nah, but I got a bed, though. I got a bed. I ain't even got lights. 